<laughs> um, and tell, tell everybody a little bit uh, you, why you chose Matt Caps as your best man for your wedding. Oh, the memories that we have. Oh. No, Matt and I actually we played in rookie ball together. And we've uh, basically room, roomed together almost every spring training and in instructional league and everything else since then. So he's a good friend. I think many of you also know uh, that uh, Freddie Sanchez had his number retired by his high school this past offseason. Freddie, would you tell everybody how you were feeling that final day as you went for the National League Batting Championship? Well, there wasn't much feeling in my legs that, you know, that, that last game, but... You know, it was, it was, I tell everybody, it was something different than, like, just your regular bases loaded, two outs, bottom of the ninth. It was, like, beyond that. You know, I just wanted to, uh, I was trying to make everyone in Pittsburgh proud and, you know, trying to do it for the city and the organization. So, um, I'm glad it was over with after I got those two hits. And, um, but it was, it was probably one of the best feelings in my, in my baseball career. You made Pittsburgh proud. Feels great. I mean, a little bit less sleep, but other than that, uh, it's nice to be around in the off season. You know, during the season, we're gone half the time, and the other half the time that I'm home, I'm gone from two to eleven anyway. So it's nice to be around and get to enjoy a little bit. Were you in the delivery room? Oh yeah, yeah. I was there for three days, no sleep then, and, but uh, something I wouldn't uh, wouldn't have missed for the world. Indeed. Uh, did you, Jack, give Jason any advice about raising children? Me? No. <laughs> Hey, you probably see my kid running around here somewhere, so I can't handle him. <laughs> Adam, how do you feel about being with the Pittsburgh Pirates? Uh, you, you must be feeling the excitement that, that uh, Pittsburgh is feeling about your acquisition. Oh, yeah, so far it's, it's been incredible. This is, uh, I wasn't expecting any of this coming out of, uh, coming out of Kansas where I live, coming up here to, to meet everybody, fans. Uh, obviously, the players, front office, everybody's been great. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Solomon, we were lucky there. We had quite a few veterans that had been there for 10 or 12 years and had won and experienced winning. And so I feel I feel lucky to have gotten to come up my first three years learning from those guys and somewhat what it takes to win and what it takes to win over a 162 game season. That's the most important thing because our team is so young uh, was to and be very patient, especially with our young pitchers. Uh, you know, we had one of the youngest teams in the big leagues last year, and uh, we've had a young team for the last three or four years. We just kind of fill in the holes with some players, and uh, we still have a young team, which is great. We have Adam, who's 27 years old. I think I'm the oldest at 29, other than uh, Solomon's 42 years old. So, <laughs> but. Uh, other than that, it's very important that uh, we, we these guys come in, and I think I think that's kind of done now. I think the young players that we have had a year in, a year and some change, I, I don't see that uh, being an issue anymore. I agree that we hate to see uh, Mike uh, Gonzo going because he was a, such a great teammate. Uh, it was a lot of fun, you know, having him around. Uh, and personally, I told him that. In order to get a good player, we were going to have to sacrifice, you know, either him or me. And uh, so we, we kind of knew that what was going to happen, you know, one of us was going to be traded. Uh, I'll benefit the most, you know, uh, I, even though I hate to see him go now, it's giving me the opportunity to become the closer, a new chapter in my uh, career, and I'm really looking forward to it. Freddie, your thoughts about the addition of Adam to the club? Oh, I think it's unbelievable. You know, I, I really think he's going to solidify the heart of our lineup, you know, and we're not expecting too much out of him, probably just about 50 or 60 home runs this year. So, you know, that should be that should be about good. Hi, this is for anyone who would... Uh... Oh, shit, I'm sorry. It's that easy. Right? Wait a minute. Since Mike's gone... Are you going to have to take care of the ping pong table now? Oh, we've already discussed that at length with all these guys, that the ping pong table is staying in the clubhouse, and I will go into the season with the number one uh, ranked 
ranking on my back. I'm gonna have to give Jack some lessons then to beat you. Are you good, are you good at ping pong? You know what? If I play left-handed, there might be a shot. Can you move down this way, sir? Thank you. Well, then let's let, let's get a let's get a poll up here. How many of you think the Bears are going to win? Of the what are there nine of you up there? How many of you think the Bears are going to win? How many of you think the who are they playing? The Colts? Who cares? Who doesn't care? I don't. He stared at him pretty good, and I'm just glad he's on our team now. After the All-Star game, you guys really turned it around. How is that going to translate into this year with LaRoche and everybody? How is it going to turn out? The question was, you guys played well the second half of the season. How does that ticket you for 2007? How does that set you up for this season? Uh, I think the big thing is that, you know, we, we had the, the young guys playing the whole second half, which is basically everybody here plus Adam. So, you know, I mean, that's just a, a big boost. And, uh, you know, I think we can all welcome Chris Duffy at the stage. Yeah, Chris here. Duffy. He's another one of the young bucks. Looking good. That's about Did it. You finish? I think I cut myself off. <laughs> Uh, Chris, welcome to the stage. Uh, we need your vote on the Super Bowl. Bears or uh, uh, Colts? Uh, well, I got Gorzolani in my ear about the Bears. I'm going Colts. I, I like Peyton Manning. Simple game, gentlemen. You throw the ball, you hit the ball, you catch the ball. Got it? <laughs> I, uh, I just want to say that's a really pretty shirt you got. I like it a lot. I'm a, I'm a big fan of those shirts out there. Nah, it, yeah. It's... Uh, it's some better than others, I would say, but uh, for the most part, yeah, I mean, being as that we're mostly roughly the same age and, and play together uh, for the most part over the last few years, yeah, it's... Uh, you know, whether you like it or not, your family for eight months, and uh, you know if you're going to make it tough, it's going to be a long season. So we seem to get along pretty well, uh, and especially you know last half of last year when you're winning, it kind of helps uh, it helps the atmosphere out a little bit as well, and it made a big difference. So yeah, I think we all get along pretty well. Uh, this is for everyone up there. I was wondering if any of you have any superstitions that you do like before all the games. Any superstitions? Go ahead, Matt. Matt, you look like you're ready to answer that. Go ahead. I just, I don't know. I do things in numbers, like threes and fives, and it's kind of hard to explain, but it's, uh, you know, there's a few of them I just do. Just sitting here, I do, I, like, subconsciously, but there's nothing that I feel like before a game I have to do uh, to have a good game or something like that. So you're a numerologist? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Jack, superstition? Never changing. I do, you know, I don't know where it's a certain pair of shoes you wear or a pair of batting gloves if you had a good night before, but most of the time, before the game, I like to look at my locker to make sure Freddie hasn't taken anything out of there. Because if you've noticed, ever since Freddie became a pirate, uh, if you notice his glove, it's always one of mine. Every year, I have three or four gloves in my locker. Come back at the end of the day, I have one or two. So they're always in his locker. He steals all my stuff. Rebuttal, Freddie? True. 